Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind FTB Infinity Evolved server. How is everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. And before we get into the festivities today, I just want to tell you, thank you very much for sharing a little bit of your afternoon or evening or whenever you happen to be watching this with me. It means a lot. Ooh, a little lag spike as the spawn village comes back into view. So yeah, thank you very much for for just sharing a little bit of your time with me. It means a lot to me, and I know that time is precious, and you could be spending it on other things. So uh, do uh, I do thank you for that. So where are we? We're at Spawn Village. It's been a while since we've been here, and I was just grabbing some water because of the project that we have in mind today. And that, for those of you that are new, used to be my hidey hole. So that's where I initially set up on this world, and then I moved out to the castle island so we're over here at spawn because i have got a little plan for uh for a little build over here and just to give you a heads up if things don't seem to be quite adding up as far as the timeline goes it's because you're still working through a lot of progress that's already happened at the castle base and i'm not showing it to you right now why do I tell you that? It's just to let you know in case you see something on my person or in my inventory or I mention something. Uh, it's it's just, you just have to kind of deal with it, okay? I'm, I'm sorry for that. It's just the way I record. I wanted to come over here and do my idea uh, for the spawn village because other people are still here. See, Voodoo Beard, he lives in this little tower right here. He's doing all of his projects in and around spawn here he started a little bazaar down here so he's going to be offering various things i don't know what he's got available quite yet so do do check out his channel to see what he's got going on and that is not voodoo beard that's a new mod that i didn't know about this is from the headcrumbs mod and i'm going to see if i can get something like that going for me as well so Nimson has a shopping mall right there, and I don't believe that there's anything available for sale yet. Uh, he's got some stuff. I don't know how that all works. He's got some trade mats here. Uh, let's see. Offer want dirt. He wants dirt to get stone, and he wants dirt to get cobble. I've got plenty of all of this stuff, except maybe glass. Glass would be good. How much dirt does he want for glass? Three dirt for one glass. Hmm. wonder how much glass he has. 64 stacks. That's not bad at all. So anyway, we're going to come through here. And so Nimson's got that. Voodoo Beard's got a little shop right there. Benito has a shop over there and there. And I figured, you know what? We're going to do one too. So what are we doing? Well, uh, a little while ago, we put together an ink farm so you remember the, the little pool with the squid in it yeah so I've got five squid in there and it's working really well in fact we're almost at 1 million ink sacks which is far more than I will ever need all right so I decided you know what hey let's throw our hat into the ring in terms of shops here at spawn so I'm gonna build a little aquarium and then turn a shop or turn it into a shop. So first things first, we've got some materials here. This is far more than I'm going to need, but it's better to be to have more than to have to keep running back to the base, which I've already been doing. So I brought two of our squid. Jack and Squidoo have volunteered to be the ones in the aquarium. And the reason they had to volunteer is because the aquarium is going to be in the floor. So floor level is going to be where this cobble is. And then below that, it's going to be an aquarium. And then we'll have a little rancher mixed into a trado mat. So, uh, so yeah, so let's uh, take a look at what we need for the trado mat, and then we'll get to building the aquarium, okay? So the trado mat is from Industrial Craft 2. So we need a forge hammer. So we got that. And then I need a little bit of iron. We're going to need eight pieces so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We need some iron plates. All right. So the forge hammer is used a little bit. The reason we need these plates is to go like that, so we can get the industrial craft two basic machine casing. 
That is then going to go into this recipe. A couple chests, redstone over the top, and that gives us our trado mat. So now we've got our trado mat. We've seen the recipe for that. And as far as the aquarium goes, you've seen me put together that with the rancher before. And so what I'm going to do is I uh, am going to build the aquarium part first, then bring you back. Oh, phone's going off. Phone's going off. I'll bring you back and we will get the uh, the shop part wired up and then we'll do a little bit of decoration. But let me get the aquarium done and I will be right back. All right, so now we've got this little aquarium done so we can put, uh, which one was that? Jack and then Squidoo. Okay, so we've got a little bit of light down at the bottom. It seems like we might need a little bit more. So maybe right here we'll do, hopefully they don't, uh, don't leave. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll put Skystone brick there and then a little bit of Glowstone. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, about midway point. Huh. Well, that that changes. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What if we did... Hmm. You know what? I'm not such a fan. So we're going to just get rid of that altogether. All right. So we'll have to deal with the darkness a little bit more on that later. All right, so we've got those guys. What we're gonna do now is put all of that stuff back, come in with some quite clear glass. Actually, I still needed some of the Skystone small brick, and the Skystone small brick is a result of the Skystone B that we got from Benito. So it has been working really well, and we're getting the castle wall put together. Ooh, voice crack there. What's going on? What do I keep getting? Garlic. I don't need... Is this thing... No, it shouldn't be. Okay, so maybe it's just something from where I was digging out. All right, so we've got that glass in place. We'll just come along here, finish out the top, and we can see the squid just hanging out, doing their thing. If it seems a little bit framey over here, we are at spawn, and I might can probably turn down view distance a bit. Let's try, let's try that and see what happens. And my phone going off again. All right, so maybe we need to just get rid of that. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got the aquarium in place. Now it's time to turn our attention to the wiring on on our um on our harvester our rancher right here so we're going to be using the ender io conduits and the reason why is we can stack two different types of conduits in the same spot so we can put a little redstone conduit our rf conduit and item conduit in the same spot and we're going to turn this to extract always active and then the uh, redstone is just going to be insert always active all right so that should be good there and that way we can take the item conduit up 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 to our eventual uh, shop area and then we can take the energy conduit um, we're going to take that up the ceiling as well. So we'll do that like so. All right. Now, what we need to do is get a little bit of the building situated around this thing. So let me take care of that so that, because I really want to show you the trade mat setup. So let me take care of getting a little bit more of the building set up and I'll get some framework in for the trade mat and then I'll bring you back in and we can see how that's all working together. All right. So I will see you in just a moment. Well, we've made a little bit of progress, actually a decent amount here. So you can kind of see the overall design I'm going for. This isn't finished back here. We'll get that in a moment, but you can see kind of the interface that I'm going for and you can look down and see 
The squid is... Yeah, both of them are in there. It's kind of hard to see that guy. Hmm, I might put some more carpenter's blocks in the corners with some glowstone in them. Maybe that'll help lighten the thing up. But yeah, anyway, so what we're going to do here is we've got the trader mat in place. And what I want to do is show you what I'm going for in terms of the payment. So I want steel nuggets. So I've got the immersive engineering version right there. And then for every steel nugget, we're going to give eight ink sacks. Okay. So the reason I want steel nuggets is because those are used in solar panels and... We've got the immersive engineering version. There's a few different types. If we take a look in the NEI here, there's or dictionary entries for all of these. So they're pretty much interchangeable, but I'm not sure what everyone has. So the immersive engineering, railcraft, solar expansion, and Tinker's Construct steel nuggets are all interchangeable. And then you can even throw in refined iron right here from IC2 and that is equivalent to steel from uh, the solar so you can turn that into nuggets and get the same thing you need for solar panels so um, because uh, the we're using one version of the steel nuggets the the trade mat here doesn't understand the ore dictionary and so you can't just throw in any steel nugget you have to throw in the one that I'm asking for here so I'm gonna have a little ATM if you will and we're gonna put Oh, let's see. Steel nugget right here. And then we're going to lock this thing. Okay, so it's locked. And now I can get my steel nugget back out. And there we go. So this will allow people to come in, throw in something that is or dictionary equivalent to the steel that I'm asking for. And we should be able to get the uh, immersive engineering version of steel out of it. All right, so that takes care of that side. Let's come around to the back here, and hopefully I can get this going. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a compacting drawer there, and we're going to put in an oak drawer there, and then we're going to put a drawer controller right there. All right, so the trade mat is going to send the steel nuggets out into the drawer controller, and then what we're going to do is grab grab some of this and we'll just come back in later and and fill the rest of this up but i need to put a little bit of stock in here all right so now we've got oh, 768 ink sacks in there and we'll grab the rest of this also and we'll put that into the oak drawer all right, so, nope, one more, one more stack. So we got plenty of stacks in there already, and let's see, go back around to the trade mat If you've been watching Voodoo Beard, and why wouldn't you? He's got some really fun stuff going on just over the hill right over there. He did pretty much the same thing down in the bazaar. So I've kind of taken this implementation from him. We're tweaking it slightly for our own needs. He's looking for Thalmcraft gold coins. I need steel. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put this steel nugget right like so. So anytime, anytime we get a payment from, from up front, we should get a steel nugget into this compacting drawer. So let me lock this. That way, if the stock happens to leave and that's, that shouldn't happen because we're going to be getting plenty of ink sacks from the aquarium down below. But uh, we are going to be doing a little bit to this compacting drawer to see about getting the steel ingots out. All right, so uh, that compacting drawer now should have nothing in it. I forgot to check. Let's just, let's just see. Okay, let's go back around here. Compacting drawer, if you look in the Wayla up at the top, it's kind of hard to see. So there we go. It's up against the sky. You can see it up there. We've got zero blocks, ingots, and nuggets, which is good. Okay. We don't want any of those. And over in the ink, we've got 800 something. Okay. So plenty of stuff. So nothing in here 
860 or 868. I can't tell. So anyway, what we're going to do is come around here and we'll just, you know, do a little payment. We'll throw in steel nugget. All right. So we've got eight ink sacks that we managed to grab out of there. Let's go back and take a look at our overall stock. Okay, so 852 less, which is, is 800, well, whatever. Anyway, it's eight less than what we had. And then over here, we've got one steel nugget. So the trade mat is working correctly. Now, the next piece that we need to do is we need a, an item conduit. We're going to get item conduit out of here. And then we're going to put a filter like so and we're going to put a steel ingot on there we're going to set this to auto extract always active so whenever we get um, a full steel ingot out of there we're going to extract it so let's just do a quick test i'm not going to send it into my ender chest yet i've got a couple of chests over here just so we can test let's see chat there it is okay Let's put, come on, there we go. We'll put this right like so. All right, and and we're going to make this to insert. All right, that's good. Always active. Oh, yeah, always active. Extract. We got a filter, basic item filter, and a steel ingot. So, and then over here, we've got one steel nugget. So if we throw in... Uh, eight steel nuggets we should see let's let's just grab one of these all right and we'll go into the trade mat here we're gonna put eight of these in all right so we got 64 ink sacks which is good so the trade mat is working now let's see the chest moment of truth you ready it did not work all right, so we've got one steel ingot. That did not work. That should have worked. Oh, this is a railcraft. Aha, I betcha. I betcha. Let's just do this. It's now the immersive engineering steel ingot. All right, there we go. We'll put this in here and shouldn't get a nugget out. Let's put the ingots in and the nugget. Ah, there we go. Okay, so the ingots are now coming out. That's a good thing. Okay, so we still got a steel nugget in there. Let's put all these ink sacks back in and we'll try this again. And we're going to be using the railcraft. Yeah, the railcraft ones here. Put that in. Let's just get a bunch of steel nuggets out. We're not going to throw all of them in there, but let's put. We know that there's one steel nugget in there. There we go. All right, now let's check. We should have. I forgot to check the numbers. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try this again. We got nothing in there. All right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's try. That. Not all of them. Just one. Oh, hey. You know what? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's throw that in. All right. We should see one ingot in the back. And that's really, I just wanted to show you how all of that, no, that didn't work. Oh, it's eight. Did I get, okay. Anyway, I'm confused. Let's just throw one of these in. Okay. Now we should have an ingot. Uh, this has been the name of the game pretty much for everyone on the server dealing with trade mats Ah. There we go. Okay, so what's going to happen now is we will get steel ingots out of this compacting drawer. 
and that's a good thing. All right, so next up, we need to wire the item conduit here. And let's just put all of those in. And we're going to put item conduit up to like so. And that's not what, what we want. And I think we may be able to, there we go. We'll get rid of that. And we're going to do insert like so. And then this is extract. Good, good, good. All right, next up. The next order of business is our energy. We need a little bit of power. Okay, and since those are not energy aware devices right there, it doesn't matter so much. And then what we'll do is get basic capacitor. We'll put this on like so. And then that's extract. And this should be output. Output, there we go. And then what we'll do is put a solar generator on top and we'll make that input. All right, so there we go. We should start to see this thing powering up. Very good. And then the ink sacs should slowly but surely start filling up. Is that the case? And the rain the rain and this is going to be pretty bad this is looking like a thunderstorm I don't know what the time is sitting at let's take a look here 964 okay now the thing with the squid are that is that they are not necessarily in that five by five area I've given them plenty of room to move about if that ends up being problematic we will move them and pull that floor up one but uh, let's just see. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Yep, 967, 968. Okay, so hopefully this is good enough. Uh, and the reason I need steel again is because of the solar panels, because I want to get into that. And I really want the rain to go away. All right, so now we've got that whole, that whole thing set up and you know what not quite what we need to do is now put the ender chest um, right here okay so we'll do that ender chest and that's set to insert and that's a good thing all right so now what we're gonna do is finish up I'm gonna clean up the the build here uh, put some put some final touches on it and kind of landscape the area a little bit and hopefully bring this right to a close all right so i will bring you back once everything is done and that should be it for this episode all right ladies and gentlemen we're back and it's time to do just the final touches here so i'm putting on some chiseled iron bars this is of the ornate iron pane fence and and yeah so it's the final the final look here and I need to put something in right there see I had to do another test there we go all right so we should be good I'm just going back through and making sure that I've got all the details taken care of and you can kind of see the design coming together I figured I would bring this design in because this is kind of what I'm working on for the castle base so we're using spruce and the sky stone sky stone's been working really well and and yeah so kind of a dark muted color and we're butting up right against this house but hopefully that's not a problem nobody is actually in there this was lapis's house when the server first got going but uh, she has since moved out to her own little base so there we go. So I've got a little shop here, Soaps Inquarium. That's not quite centered, but I don't know how centered I can actually get it. And then we've got the steel exchange here. This gives the right amount, or right type of steel nuggets to put into the trade mat. Okay, that was weird. Uh, inventory tweaks sometimes gets messed up, but there we go. And uh, let's see, one more thing. 
the sound muffler does not work for generators. I don't know what that's about, but uh, it works on some noises, but not on the generator. Great. Okay. Anyway, so we've got a little escape hatch up here, so in case I need to do some maintenance, enunciate there. And there we go. So let me know what you think. I would love to hear your comments, questions, or suggestions. Feel free to leave those down below in the comment section, or you can always catch me on Twitter at MC Soap the Great. But again, I want to thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to take a look at what I'm doing here. And, uh, and yeah, so that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.